Hey everyone, on this video we are going to cover how to use our new Doxius Digital Assets, Swarm and Pop Grid. These digital assets will help your Houdini's workflow and skip the time you need to program each system. They are pretty simple to use in your own projects, so let's check it out! Ok, let's start by installing the digital assets. Let's go to Assets and then install Asset Library. Let's navigate to our uh, Houdini Digital Assets folder, in my case it's, it's this one, and I have the Pop Grid and Swarm. Let's start by installing the Swarm system, press Install, and let's prepare our uh, PopNet system. Let's place a sphere. These digital assets work inside the PopNet, so let's place a PopNet. And if you want, let's place a trail. I just like to see my particles with a little tray to, to figure out the movement. Okay. Go to 30. Okay. Let's dive in the PopNet. And as I said, if you press tab now, you'll see digital assets. And here you have the, the digital assets you installed. In our case, we are going to start with Doxia Swarm. Let's wire this in in our system, ok? And as you see, this node has a few parameters. You should see the, if you haven't seen it already, you should see the tutorial about the Swarm system where I explain each parameter. So the, these are the three forces, main forces, separation, alignment and cohesion, that will control, they will control the movement of our particles. Then you have the speed, max force is the force uh, about the, the separation alignment and cohesion and the max speed of our particles. Then you have collisions, that is a bounding box. If you see it's, uh, it has the size of 20, you could see like this if you have a box with a size of 20 by 20 by 20. We have this bounding box, so our particles will not uh, go outside this bounding box. Of course, you can control the bounding box, the speed, and uh, the forces as you want. If I press play, let me just increase a little the sphere. Let's go maybe now it's trying to simulate everything. <laughs> let me just go back and let me not let me control the this uh, particle emitter i just like to place a scatter let's control the points outside you see we have too many points and the sphere is way too big okay Let's reduce to 250. And then inside our popnet, let's change the source to all points and emit only on the first frame. Okay. So now if I press play, we will see that 250 particles behave like a swarm system. And as you see, they are not going outside the, the bounding box. Pretty simple. If you want, you can control the swarm system. As I said, go to Doxy Swarm, and for example, I want to, the particles to separate from each other. So if you see now, we will get a different result. They are trying to avoid each other and stay away. Okay. Let's see now the pop grid system. If you press tab after you, you need to install the, the other system in install asset library. If you go to digital assets, now you have the Doxy pop grid. Let's wire this to our system. And now you have uh, different parameters. Probability of alpha and probability of beta. If you have seen the tutorial, the alpha will control the angle in Z and X uh, axis 
and the beta will control the angle on y and z axis okay if i press play now you'll see that our particles will move as a grid let me just delete the box because we don't need that anymore if you go to popnet and our doxia pop grid if you change for example the angle for 60 and on beta for 45 for example you'll see we'll get a different result if you want we can uh, work uh, in 2d if i pre place a grid now we have a grid right and if i uncheck this work on 3d you'll see only the alpha will be available so if i change it to 120 and let's increase the probability of alpha you'll see we get more chaotic uh, result on the angles and our particles will change 120 degrees so let's check the result see and now it's working 2d let's go back to 90 degrees and less chaotic result and here on particle speed as the name says uh, it controls the particle speed of each particle right see pretty simple right these nodes work inside the the popnet because now we can use the other stuff inside the popnet for example let's place a sphere let's change to polygon set one and let's change this to maybe 15 just to have a nice big sphere let's uh, select the sphere and then static object just to create a static object go to geo and you'll see inside our popnet now we have that uh, colliding object let's change here one thing because I want this sphere to behave like a shell okay so now our particles will stay inside that sphere let me just ghost that sphere inside okay now you'll see that our particles will not go outside that sphere okay as have you seen these digital assets will help your workflow without having to write all that text code to control our particle our digital assets are available on our patreon page for one month and then move to gamroad if you want to get them for a small price check out our patreon page for more info hope you enjoyed this video and have a nice day